Harry Ferguson was born at Lake House Tremor, County Down in 1884. In 1902 he left home and joined his brother Joe's bicycle and car repair company in Belfast. Harry raced motorcycles to promote the Joe Ferguson company. Around this time he became influenced by Orville and Wilbur Wright and the successful flights they were achieving in the USA. The Wright brothers had successfully achieved powered flight on the 17th of December 1903. To increase his understanding of how aeroplanes worked, in 1909, Harry attended fact-finding air shows in Britain and France. On his return, he drew up plans for the Mark I Ferguson Flyer. Construction began of the Ferguson Flyer monoplane at Ferguson's Chichester Street Workshop, Belfast. The 30-foot-long wooden fuselage was of box-frame construction strengthened with wire under tension. The wings were 34 feet long and a 35 horsepower V8 Jap engine was fitted in the nose. The wings were detached and the plane was towed by car up to the Great Park in Hillsborough. The Ferguson monoplane was tested at Hillsborough Park. This was a learn-as-you-go process and Harry Ferguson had to learn to fly his aeroplane. Several accidents occurred, in one of which the Mark I Ferguson Flyer was completely destroyed. Success finally came for Harry Ferguson when on December 14, 1909, he achieved powered flight and travelled for a distance of 0.5 kilometres. Harry Ferguson became the first person in Ireland or Britain to build and fly their own aeroplane. In 2016, BBC Northern Ireland produced a programme hosted by Dick Strawbridge where a replica of the Ferguson Flyer was built. The Ferguson Flyer replica is now owned and flown by the Ulster Aviation Society. Then Harry Ferguson went on to change the world. <laughs>